Hey everyone, Bob Shakti Fribba here, and today uh, I want to show you how you can improve your Fort in Vegas performance and how you can reduce possible crashes. So um, I get I get uh, actually they're free. There's another mod. There's another good mod. Um, right. Um, wait, let me just search for it. So, there you go. <coughs> so, today I want to show you how you can improve your Fallout in Vegas performance and your stability. So, um, the first mod you will be, or you need to, uh, you know, improve your performance, uh, and also can improve your stability is uh, the new Vegas data remover. So what this mod basically does, um, when you're, wa uh, I don't know if you if you are seeing that, but when you're walking uh, sideways in fall in Vegas, you sometimes can see uh, there's you know a little a little blurring effect kind of or something like that. Um, but this is happening because. Uh, um yeah, yeah the game is loading and your monitor doesn't uh you know synchronize correctly with your graphics card so this is why this is happening and uh because the word is loading so um this mod basically removes that so it gives you a smoother feeling in gaming uh in gameplay and also gives you uh more stability and a better frame rate as well so uh definitely check that mod out uh and I'll show you to install it later. Then we'll get clean deluxe uh or deluxe uh New Vegas. Um if you uh this mod uh I only recommend this mod to uh people who have uh we a little bit uh like weaker machines. Um I'll definitely recommend this mod to you. Um, what this mod basically does, it, uh, it removes all the unnecessary stuff like, uh, floating papers and so on. So that, that is what this mod does. And also, uh, with the meshes, um, there will be cleaned meshes and updated mesh meshes as in the description. Um, so definitely check that mod out as well. Um. And the last mod is um the NVAC. <coughs> now this modding is uh this mod is um out since November, I guess. Um yeah this is this is uh I don't know, it's 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 a uh, I never used that mod a lot because uh oh I uh I'm aware of it a bit because uh I, w I wanted to download a version once, but um, my Avira was like, oh, this is this is a Trojan in it. You should, shouldn't should download it. And I didn't download it. Because uh, you never know if something has happened. But um, I don't know. I, I never tried it out, really. Uh, but I'll leave you a link in the description. Um, you can look through those files here if you want and maybe as well check it out it's pretty simple to install um, and yeah you you should check it out if you want to um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that I'm, I'm pretty sick still um, also uh, came something in mind which also can improve your performance it's uh, the 3 gigabyte uh, no not 3 gigabyte 4 gigabyte uh, um, enabler or something or large address aware enabler I don't know um, yeah this is also a pretty pretty good mod uh, which I would recommend you to install because um, it enables that the game uses more memory or less memory so you can have more memory t for it to use 
so I would definitely check this mod out. The link will be in the in the description. Um, I'll leave you the links, and I'll see you on the desktop, and then I'll sh and then I will show you how to install the mods. All right, so we're back on the desktop, and uh, now I'm going to show you how you install um, these mods. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with the four gigabyte enabler, cause in my opinion, it's one of the most important. Um, so you, it's pretty, it's fairly easy actually. So you just, you just, um, you know, click them, or you mark them, and you just drag and drop them into your uh, Fold in Vegas folder, and that's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, before you do this, first. Uh, you should make sure you have a uh, new Vegas script extender as well. Um, and yeah, um, this is how you install this mod. Fairly simple, just drag. Actually, you only need this file and this file. So it just copy and then paste them, and that's it. Fairly easy, not really that hard. <coughs> so, um, the next mod was the. Uh, the what was he called? God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very tired. Um, yeah, I knew we get that remover. I knew it was something with N. There you go. I knew we get that remover. Um, and it's the same. It's not really that hard. You just need to make sure you have new get script extender. So you open this folder. If you don't have this folder. <coughs> Uh, then you just, you know, make one, then put the plugin folder in, and but normally you should have that. If not, you just make a folder. I'll just show you to you. <coughs> so new, make a folder called NVSE, for example. We say no, so it's the new folder, and then put your plugins folder in. You need to do that. Because then it won't work. And then do this. And then just drag and drop uh, the new Vegas like remover. And that's it. Um, after you've done that, it should create. No, I'll just show it. I'll just show it here. <coughs> so after you drag and drop the new set remover in the plugins folder, it creates an any file. You can click on that. And then you can change a few. Uh, a few variables, um, for example, the frame frame rate, maximum FPS, minimum FPS, um, yeah, and you can change all that stuff, and it's it's pretty good, um, yeah. <coughs> and um, for NVAC, I I can't I can't show it because I don't have it, but it's um, yeah. I guess he he explains it on his own own site, and for the clean deluxe uh, or deluxe, I know if it uh, if I have it on, but it's it's fairly simple. Um, it it really is. It's just an ESP. I I guess. Yeah, it's just an ESP. So you just. Um, for example, if you have those files on your, let's just make an example of it. <coughs> so this is the ESP version. So you just have those files in your WinRA, and you just uh, double-click your WinRA folder, and then this pops up, and you just drag and drop them, and that's it. And that's the whole magic. It's it's really nothing nothing big, and same goes if you lo download the meshes folder. You have your meshes folder in WinRA, and you just put them in the meshes folder, and that's it. Um, this is how you could install the version, uh, the clean deluxe mesh version. And yeah, uh, for NVAC, um, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, you can try it out. I'll leave you a link, uh, and the guy explains it re really well. Well. And I hope this this little tutorial helps you a bit. Um, I'm a bit limited. 
um, to uh, you know for the video pro for my video program so I can't um, yeah properly edit my videos because I don't really have a good video editing program but uh, I'll guess I'll change it up um, I know I, I will definitely try to get a better video editing program but um yeah for now I hope this video helps you a little bit and if you want I can make another tutorial um, to help you out um, but yeah I hope this helps you guys increase performance a bit um, and I shall see you in, in the next few few days or tomorrow probably tomorrow <laughs> yeah thanks for watching guys and